Okay, now there's quite a, a UFO here, undeniably. And then NASA cuts the feed right away. If you look at it, it looks like a long, long line. Uh, definitely a structure of some kind. Notice also there's no stars in the sky. Um, I've gone into that before. Um, and uh, I'll show it again here. Yeah, look at that. It's like a ladder going up or something. It looks like a... Anyways, it's really interesting, too, that there's no stars. I mean, you, can't, you can see that there's no stars in the sky. And then all of a sudden a UFO appears. And you can see the UFO. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's like a... That's a crazy ship. Huh. But it's interesting that NASA cuts the feed to a gray screen right away. Too. You know, there's so many things being hidden from us. It's just, where do we even start, you know? And where, how do we stop them from keeping everything from us? You know, the reason I think they want us to keep not not to know everything is because they want to be the ones, they want to say that they invented the technology, they invented our computers, they invented everything, which isn't true. They had a lot of help, a lot of help inventing stuff. And uh, I think that's the main reason for the secrecy. Uh, Europe doesn't want to let us know that they didn't invent the Invent the things they they uh, made deals with extraterrestrials, and the extraterrestrials had created that. Really strange, I know, but that's what the chemtrails are. Um, from my experience, they, they they're making some kind of like television screen on the surface of the, or up in the atmosphere, and making it look like there's still stars. So we don't feel alone in the universe or something, but my uh, my Buddhist teacher, Falun Dafa teacher, he, Li Hongzhe, he's he says that uh, we're being cordoned off, like we're we're being sort of um, the stars are being. He said that we'll feel feel alone in the universe because there will be no stars, <laughs> basically, from my understanding. Um, and so I've been watching for this. And the astronauts say, when they come back, they say, we can't see any stars when we're up in the, in that above Earth's atmosphere. We can't see the stars. And then there's all these theories like, oh, it's because of their visors. It's because of whatever, because of this. Cause of... But the cameras on the space station, there's cameras everywhere, you know, whatever. Any picture you get of that, there are no stars ever in the pictures. I mean, there should be stars in the pictures. Um, the, the people that went to the moon, they're like, you know, we couldn't see stars when I was, we were on the moon or wherever, you know. Um, there are no stars in the sky. I hate to tell you, but <laughs> really, we, we, there are no more. There used to be, and there aren't any more. Um, and so, I mean, you look over to the University of Calgary, where I live, there's a whole section of the university dedicated to astronomy. <laughs> what are they going to do with that, you know? Do you have to just fabricate lies on top 